Nous avons mis au défi 16 des meilleurs pêcheurs de perches en Europe d'attraper le plus grand nombre possible de grosses perches en 480 heures. Ils sont libres d'aller où ils veulent en Europe et pendant 3 jours. Les 8 équipes se battront pendant 10 heures par jour, ce qui représente un total de 480 heures de pêche de la perche. Deux des jours seront consacrés à la pêche depuis leur bateau et la grande nouveauté cette saison, c'est qu'un des jours, les équipes seront obligées de pêcher depuis le rivage. La saison dernière a offert les conditions de loin les plus difficiles dans les 9 ans d'histoire de ce tournoi, mais a aussi produit un nouveau record de gros poissons dans Perche Pro, puisque l'équipe Bite of Bleak a attrapé une bête de 51 cm dans le dernier épisode, ce qui lui a valu le prestigieux trophée. Cette année, les équipes se sont encore plus entraînées et ont affiné leur tactique pour maximiser leur chance de remporter la victoire. 4 points seront attribués chaque jour. Le point du nombre, le point du gros poisson, le point du top 5 et le point de la surface. 4 points supplémentaires seront attribués à la fin du tournoi. Le point du plus grand nombre de perches capturées, le point du plus gros poisson, le point du top 5 combiné le plus élevé et le point de la plus grosse perche capturée en surface. Nous sommes extrêmement heureux de vous annoncer que vous pourrez participer aux qualifications de Perche Pro en juin 2023 au sud de la Suède et défier les pros devant un public en direct. Le vainqueur se verra remettre non seulement un billet de 5000 euros cash, mais aussi un ticket d'entrée pour la véritable édition YouTube de Perche Pro. Il en va de même pour Flavia Sugierk et Zander Pro. Pour plus d'informations, rendez-vous sur tournament.canagratis.se. Voici Perche Pro 9. Are you ready, Toby? Always ready. Let's go to the Born first race. Ready. Absolutely crazy weather. Lightning hits us. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. <laughs> Sky went nuts. It's raining cats and dogs. It's a yes, baby! Brian J. Macarena. I don't understand what the hell is going on here. It's a really big one. Oh my god! Take it, take it, take it, take it. No! Thank you, Pitch God! It's a perch, it's a perch. It's a really big perch! Yes! Yeah! Yeah! We did it! Yeah! We found it in Kumbla, that's good! Who can Christ, I don't have a single bite here. It's typical Swedish guys are always casting over the line. You just lose the Nana House, it's better to leave them to me. I'm gonna start crying now. This is f***ing unbelievable. Perch Pro 9 vous est présenté par Big Pike Trailer, remorque pour bateaux de qualité supérieure fabriqués en Lettonie. West Gear, votre concessionnaire de bateaux en Suède. One Boat Network, tous ensemble maintenant, et JR Logistics, recrutement de chauffeurs routiers et d'employés d'entrepôt depuis 2004. Les 8 équipes sont actuellement en route vers les lieux choisis et dans moins de 30 minutes, toutes les équipes vont commencer à pêcher. La première équipe à se jeter à l'eau est le vainqueur de l'année dernière, l'équipe Bite of Bleak. Mais depuis la victoire de la saison précédente, les champions Pelle et Peter ont pris des chemins différents, Pelle ayant commencé à travailler pour Shimano. Cette fois-ci, les anciens compagnons vont s'affronter en représentant deux équipes différentes et ils ont tous deux choisi de pêcher dans la même région, au nord de la Suède. L'équipe Bite of Bleak est composée de Peter Fredriksson et de son nouveau compagnon Ricard Nurmi, un jeune pêcheur en devenir qui fait sa première apparition sur YouTube. Bite of Bleak est une marque relativement jeune, fortement axée sur la pêche moderne de la perche, et elle est toujours à la pointe de l'adoption et de la mise au point de dernière technique. Hello guys, this is Bite of Bleak signing in. I'm Peter Fredriksson. I'm Ricard Nurmi. And as you know, we are the defending champions. We're really feeling the pressure this year, I think. Yeah, everyone is hunting us this yes, year. Yes, that is the real feeling. We are here to protect our title. Yes, but we have good spots then. I yeah. think we will have a good chance. Yeah, absolutely. So we are just lying on one of the spots now in a real clear water lake. We have a depth of like 8-10 meters around us with some rocky terrain under the water. So now we go for it. Cette année, nous avons recueilli des données détaillées sur la météo et les conditions auprès de toutes les équipes et nous les présenterons tout au long de cette série. Comprendre les conditions et les eaux que vous pêchez est sans doute la compétence la plus importante d'un pêcheur et nous espérons que vous trouverez une ou deux pièces à ajouter à votre puzzle pour devenir un meilleur pêcheur. Non loin de là, l'équipe Shimano avec Pelle 7 et Thierry Nguyen s'apprête également à se rendre sur l'eau. Thierry est un pêcheur français incroyablement doué avec un nombre impressionnant de gros poissons à son actif. 
Voyons si la combinaison de leurs compétences françaises et suédoises sera la stratégie gagnante dans Perch Pro 9. Hello everybody, welcome to Perch Pro 9. My name is Pelleset, working for Shimano. And bonjour, I am Thierry from France and I'm a French ambassador for Shimano, coming for the very first time on Perch Pro. And uh, I guess I will catch some big perch here. Yeah, yeah, we are up uh, northern part of Sweden. I have been the Rie to a small lake uh, and we hope to get numbers and of course hit into that big one that everybody's looking for. Uh, last year I won Perch Pro with my old team, uh, Bite of Bleak. I know that Peter and Bite of Bleak is up here somewhere and of course this we will, we will, we want to beat them. Yeah, yeah, that's important, you know. So we're gonna do all that we can to give them a, a good fight. We will. We will. Mr. 51. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. À environ 500 km plus au nord, l'équipe Headbang Girler avec Marcus Taylus et Emmanuel Swart est sur le point d'entamer sa deuxième saison de Perche Pro. Au cours de leur première saison, Marcus a établi un nouveau record de la pêche en surface Perche Pro avec un record à 46 cm. Et Emmanuel a attrapé un véritable tank de perche dépassant la barre des 2 kg. Malgré ses exploits, ils n'ont pas gagné, alors ils sont de retour pour prendre leur revanche. Hey guys, uh, welcome back. This is Perch Pro Season 9. Uh, we are team Headbanglers. My name is Marcus Taylor and this is Amal Nusrad. And uh, today it's time for some top water action. We are actually in the, like, the middle of the lake on a shallow plateau with a bit, lot of big rocks. We are going to target for the top water with uh, the Spitfire. And we are doing uh, big fish and we are not going for numbers. Never. So, should we go? Yeah, it's time. let's go. Let's go. Les équipes peuvent pêcher où elles veulent en Europe, mais l'équipe suivante a choisi de pêcher dans le nord de la Suède. L'équipe Catch with Care a participé à toutes les saisons précédentes de Perche Pro avec une victoire dans le sac de la saison 7 quand ils ont pêché aux Pays-Bas. Bienvenue à nouveau, Evert Usdam et Adam Oray. Hi guys, welcome to the first episode of the new season. Season 9. Perch Pro 9. Yes sir. And With me in the boat is Evert Oslam, as always, and my name is Adam Oram. We're the team Catch With Care, and we are not in the Netherlands this year. Not this time. We are in the beautiful country of Sweden. My home country. Beautiful Sweden. Uh, up north, fishing for perch, but we're not going for the big fish. We are all in for the numbers in this season. Gonna stack some 30s. Hopefully we uh, end up in the hundred today. Let's hope so. So first cast is coming up. Stay tuned for Cash with Care. Pour continuer sur le thème des vétérans de Perche Pro, l'équipe Sporting Zedman est de retour pour un nouveau tour, et c'est l'équipe qui a gagné Perche Pro le plus de fois. Good morning and welcome to Perche Pro number nine. We are Team Sporting Seaman Scandinavia. We are armed and ready and ready to rock with you guys. I am Stefan Nielsen, I'm the owner of Sporting. This is my seventh time on Perch Pro and I'm a three-time champion. And I'm gonna make this number four. This year I'm fishing with... Thomas, and I'm the sales agent for Scandinavia for Seaman. I'm fishing with Stefan, the Perch Master. We're up in a mid-sized lake in the northern parts of Sweden. We are so excited and we will rock this year, I'm sure. Let's go and get them. Two. L'équipe suivante est une équipe allemande qui a participé à Perche Pro pour la première fois au cours de la saison précédente et qui après 15 minutes de pêche a établi un nouveau record en surface avec un poisson de 46 cm. Kingfisher Anger Racing organise des voyages de pêche dans certaines des meilleures destinations du monde et ils sont maintenant dans l'une d'elles au centre de la Suède. Good morning guys, welcome to Perch Pro 9. The plan for today is we start with top water for like around two hours to hope that we can secure the top water point. Then we just quickly get the boat out, change waters and go out to the Baltic to go for the top five. That's yes. the game plan for okay. today. Good one. Let's get the season started, man. Keep, Keep on losing. L'avant-dernière équipe est nouvelle chez Perche Pro et elle représente un pays qui n'a jamais participé à un tournoi canal gratis auparavant. Un accueil chaleureux à l'équipe eolot.eu de Lettonie, représentée par Christian Godin et Martin Balodi. Ce sont tous deux des pêcheurs de tournois très expérimentés avec de nombreux titres dans leur sac et en 2014, ils ont lancé eolot.eu 
le premier détaillant de pêche sportive et d'électronique marine de Lettonie. Il développe également des remorques pour les bateaux de pêche sportive, Big Pike Trailer, et maintenant ils vont pêcher dans les régions du nord de la Suède. Bienvenue à l'émission messieurs. Good morning, my name is Martins Balodis. And my name is Christian Godin. So we fished together many years. More than 10. We don't remember. Yeah, more than 10, definitely. We won Latin Championship. Yeah, and we take uh, participation in different uh, international as well competitions and championships. And now we are in Perch Pro. Finally. Finally we are in Perch Pro and we love Swedish Perch. Uh, not just Perch, Swedish nature is amazing. <laughs> yeah, and, but Perch, Perch, but, Perch, we focus on Perch this but time. They are really get good Perches. Yeah. So uh, I think this will be a great show. We want to win. I know it will be hard, but we never give up. Yeah, we will fight till the end. Uh, and, we will look yeah. for biggies, for big yeah. super And perch. check us out on a short day. It will be interesting. Oh yeah. That's it. And follow us, team echolotes.eu. We yeah. are ready for battle. Yeah. La dernière équipe est la seule qui ne pêche pas en Suède. Au lieu de cela, l'équipe Neistroft avec Tobias Ekval et Dustin Schoen chassera l'insaisissable perche des Pays-Bas qui a failli leur donner la victoire la saison dernière. Ok Toby, before we start Perch Pro, always in the morning, the best sound in the world. Good morning! Are you ready Toby? Always ready, let's go to the Born first one. Tobias et Dustin ont participé aux trois saisons précédentes et courent toujours après leur première victoire. Ils ont réalisé d'excellentes performances à chaque fois, mais ont échoué à plusieurs reprises sur la ligne d'arrivée. L'année dernière, ils ont été incroyablement proches de la victoire en attrapant une perche monstrueuse de 50,8 cm. Il leur manquait que 0,2 cm pour remporter la victoire. Hello and welcome to our fourth season of Perch Pro. Crazy. And we were so close winning the last year. 0.8 cm more on the biggest perch and we would have won. So our goal today is to catch a big one and win <laughs> <Yeah>. this. <laughs> I mean, the goal is to catch a big one, but we have to say our pre-fishing was always bad, but this time it was bad as hell. Our expectations are not that big, but we hope to, uh, yeah, we will definitely not go for the numbers. We try to catch this one big fish. Every day. Every day. And uh, hopefully top five, and we'll have a special thing on the shore day. Yes. So, some secrets. What's the special thing on the shore day? <laughs> it's a secret. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's a secret. you know more Even than for I you. <laughs> Even for you. Okay, so let's get the rods ready. I'm pumped. Even the pre-fishing was not that good. Um, good luck for all the other, other teams. Yeah. Let's go. I want to start now, Dustin. Me too, I'm pumped. <laughs> One minute. Ce sont nos huit équipes et voici comment elles sont réparties en Europe. Sept d'entre elles en Suède et une équipe aux Pays-Bas. Il est bientôt 8 heures et les équipes peuvent commencer à pêcher. 3, 2, 1, Let's zero. go. First time cast, is, time, is, time is 8. Well, hello. Time is 8, we are ready to start. First cast. First cast, roll out. Team Catch with Care. It's on the move. First cast of our fifth perch pro. Make it count, Toby. It's 8 o'clock in the morning. We're gonna take the first cast. And reps rock now. First cast. Good <laughs> fight. Yep. What else? Out. So it's time, Richard. First time. cast. First cast. Perch pro. Which perch pro is it? Perch pro? Nine, I think. Nine. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, first cast. Fight the doing the first cast. Perch pro. Nine. Nine. Let's, Let's go. go. Boom. Hold on to your horses. Yeah, I think the other teams is going for the bigger fish today. I think first day is really important to have this big fish with you for the rest of the competition. So I think we should see the other teams going for the big one today. Yeah. I don't know if some, do you think somebody is going for the numbers today? Like totally going for the numbers? I don't know. We have a new team with us this year and I have yeah. no idea what they are doing or where they are. We are starting our first Perch Pro. We are starting with top waters. This is a good place for top waters because this is a shallow area uh, with some we grass and, make small. and there, is, there is perch. First perch on first cast. <laughs> I'm not happy, but it is a first perch. 
and I hope it's the smallest in this championship. Yeah, but as I told that the place is very good for top water because there is grass, there is cut trees, there is shallow area and goes deep. This is a place where big ones come up for bite fish. If it doesn't work, we will go deeper. Okay guys, we start with the top water lure. It's a wake prop from Norris. We catch the several good ones. So we are here actually fishing and it's right in the middle of a lake and um, yeah, the structure comes all up from 10 meters around. It's like a little plateau, but this is usually the ground where they chase. So let's see what this day brings. Whoa. Ooh. Oh. What the f <laughs> oh man, that's goosebumps all around. And off she goes. De l'action en surface tout de suite, mais la longueur minimale pour une perche qui compte dans Perche Pro est de 30 cm, donc toujours pas de poisson à prouver sur le tableau. All right, we are on our first spot. We have a little bay in here and we have a little bit of a weed line and some weeds in the water here. And it's like from, from three to two meters. And we have packed with, with bait fish in here and also we have perch in here. So we're gonna start here to see if they are gonna be active for us. I'm gonna start using the, the Shimano World Minnow. It's a super, super good moving, suspending jerk bait. Uh, gonna tell you later a little bit more about what's in this beauty. Let's go. I'm using this popper with a flash boost action because it active the perch sometimes very well. So let's try. Let's go. All right, guys, I think the condition was not... What yes, we one on top water. Great, 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 great. Not big one. Oh, she, she has gone. <laughs> but it shows they can go on yeah. the top. I have one following it. They are Crazy. not into it. Yeah, I need to change a little bit. We think that we're not the only team that's going for the numbers. We think, mostly, that the rest of the guys, um, let's see, like five or six teams, they're gonna go for, uh, for big fish, maybe some top water, stuff yeah. like that. We expect that uh, at least one team is in the Netherlands, hunting for the big fish. A lot of teams will go for maybe big fish and numbers. That's our hope, because we are going all in for numbers. I hope we are the only team going for the numbers today. Yeah. And the big ones, <laughs> yeah, always the big ones, but there are numbers here, we know that. Just need to find the school of them and catch some numbers. Yeah, good one. Yeah, really good. Really good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah! yeah. Yes! Oh. Hello, mother! <laughs> I know it was there. Oh. Yeah, that's a solid fish. It's so nice to have in the beginning. That's a good perch. Really good one. Stand up, gig head. The scorpion gig head. Yeah. Put her on the board. Première perche homologuée du tournoi sans aucun doute. Celle-ci ressemble plus ou moins à une 40. Four to five. Really good perch. Yeah, nice fish. Et voilà, la première perche approuvée du tournoi revient à l'équipe Bite of Leak et quel début Peter et Ricard visent à la fois le nombre et les points du gros poisson et pêchent actuellement avec des leurs souples sur un tombant. Took the Pope in albino eye color with a stand up jig head with titanium fins on it. So it will always stand up in the water. Really good bait and head. So we need to make a click. Now we go. We're gonna fish this uh, drop-off. It's like a plateau that's like five, six meters. And there we have found a lot of perch in the pre-fishing. Uh, we have heard about the 53 centimeter perch caught there last week. One, one week ago, exactly. Oh, they are here. Oh. <coughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A lot. Should we go for the numbers? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think we will maybe catch. I, I would guess if, if we catch five today, we're lucky. Yeah, I think that's almost not possible to catch five, but hey, we will see. You never know. They would are be here. nice. They yeah. are here. In the pre-fishing, we had the best fishing. Well, we have fishing aggressive. So I'm fishing a hard bait with hard uh, twitches. They for sure are here to the right. Yeah. 
at the moment I fish quite aggressive um, because the fish are not really active. I try to trigger them, but in a couple of minutes, if this shows no effect, I will um, yeah, go a bit slower. First I do a tube and then maybe I do Carolina rig or normal jig. So we have to try around a bit because as pre-fishing uh, showed us, it's really, really tough. It's this one big fish we can catch here, or if we are really lucky, but I think that's almost impossible, we can catch five big fish. We will see. We have to be really concentrated the whole day because it's this one bite which can make the difference. Oh, I want, I want. Good one, Ned. It's not that big, but it's a, it's a keeper. Keeper. Yes! Uh, but, but yeah, it's good. Could be good for our top five. No, but they are here. That's a good sign. Yeah, for sure they are here. It was quite close to the boat, and I said they were on the right side. Very good, Toby. First yeah. fish. At least we caught one. I think it's 40. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's 38. But it's a beautiful fish. No, you're right. 38. But yeah, they are here, though. Good. Now we just need to catch the 53 that they caught here one week ago. Yeah. I'm just gonna release it, release it quite fast because it could be a bite period now. Yeah. Ce n'est pas la perche de 53 cm qu'ils recherchaient, mais comme la prépêche était extrêmement lente, c'est un bon signe qu'ils attrapent du poisson. 38 cm est un beau poisson, mais dans Perche Pro, il ne les attrape pas beaucoup. Pour avoir une chance d'obtenir le point du top 5, les 5 poissons doivent généralement être supérieurs à 45 cm pour être dans le jeu. Parfois, les gros poissons préfèrent une présentation plus subtile, le prototype tube Naze. So, changing to a tube, very nice action, like darting action, if you see it in the water. Perch really love it. And I'm fishing the uh, Straft S-Line. I love it because it's really smooth and uh, makes no noises. That's a perfect combination. We'll see if the perch like the tube. But the training showed us they don't like much. They're really gourmet at the moment. But I think I should stick to the hard bait fishing quite fast. Yeah, 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 do it. I think at least one should fish uh, quite fast and aggressive and the other one can fish slow. But it didn't took the bait, uh, uh, the bait where you were letting it down. It, you were retrieving it, right? No. Perch, good perch. Very good perch. Yeah. Be, that's way bigger than yours. If you wait, is it very close? I can't wait, it's, it's way bigger. It's huge. Yes, I have it. It's a really big one. It's a really big one. Oh my god! Take it, take it, take it, take it. No! Fuck. I couldn't take it. I know. Oh. That was the 50, right? Uh, could have been, yes. That has been the 50 we needed. F f f fun. I know I'm over your line, but I will. No problem. <sighs> oh no. <Man. laughs> I'm crying. I'm laughing on the outside and crying on the inside. But at least, no, I'm crying both inside and outside. F oh no. I'm shaking. Me too. Shaking, fuck! I can honestly don't do anything. No, I saw that. It was way too far away for you. And it was strong. They are so strong in here. Oh, that's the worst in the competition. You know, as I said earlier, you get this one chance. We have to be concentrated. That might have been can the 50. No, no, I'll go here. I lost it. But what to do? That's fishing. No, everybody said it. I think already. I'm a bit uh, sad now. <laughs> I could cry to be honest, because the pre-fishing was so peep hot. Yeah. Ah. We just need to get another one. Let's do it, Toby. Yeah. How hard can it be? Just catch another 50. Attrape juste une autre 50. 
très facile à dire et un peu plus difficile à réaliser. Perdre un tel poisson quand on sait qu'on n'aura peut-être qu'une ou quelques chances par jour, c'est la plus grande des douleurs pour tout pêcheur. Au nord, l'équipe Headbangerler espère également que ce gros poisson frappera ses leurs. Actually, we're going to like stay on this spot the entire day. Uh, the plan is that uh, because we know that the big fish are here, it's a natural like feeding spot for them. Uh, and we are actually like standing on top of some really big uh, rocks over here. You can see them uh, in the water. It's a plateau going out from one and a half meters out to 12 meters. It's a very strategic spot for the fish to come up and hunt. And it's a good spot for the bait fish to hide. And sometime during the day, the perch will hunt. And then we want to be here. When I'm fishing top water and I don't see the fish hunting in the surface, I keep casting the same direction to draw the fish out, casting the same line over and over again for like 10 casts or so before I change direction. Sometimes that can trigger the fish. Let's see if it works today. I go with a Seaman Turd, TRD Finesse. I'm fishing with only a six gram head, so it takes quite a long time to reach the bottom. There we go. First fish. Way to go, Thomas! Yes. Ready, Danskan? I'm ready. Let's get the net. Is it a good one? That's okay. No, it's a. It's okay, size. So it's good size. Good size. First thing. Boom! There you go. Thank you. <coughs> Keep on fishing. Second cast. Fish on. Fish on for Danskin also. Yep. Okay. This is a small one. Yeah. It's smaller. It's a no net. This is a small one. There you go. Third. June bug. Wet the board. 41. 41 and a half. So it's a 41. This one's uh, 30... 33. So it's a pruned fish. Hit the clicker. Hit the clicker one here also. Nous n'en sommes qu'à 15 minutes de la première journée et certaines équipes ont très bien commencé alors que d'autres ont un peu plus de mal. L'une d'entre elles est Shimano qui a toujours zéro poisson approuvé au tableau. Et non, malheureusement, vous ne pourrez pas additionner la longueur si vous attrapez deux perches en un seul lancer. Ok, ils starting to bite, but they're just a little too small. So. We maybe need to search a little bit around this area because we have lots of small fish here. This may be. Yeah. Should yeah, be probably. approved. Do you want the net? Oh, it's it's a pike. <laughs> no! <laughs> yes, I know, I know. Take it easy, I come. Oh, the pike, you saw that? Yeah. They came after your lure? It's oh. a big pike. Yeah. Jesus, you have to you have to film this. Okay, shit, the pike is coming. The pike is coming. Oh. 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 I had a perch on and the pike came and took it. <laughs> you can all see that on the Mega Live. That was a big pike. Oh f big pike. <laughs> oh shit. Did he hit it? Yeah, he has my perch. Oh, now we're in some trouble guys. <laughs> I have a big pike on my perch. And it's a clicker perch. Richard Nurmi, the pike fisherman. Sometimes you're glad you have powerful rods. But no. Yeah, I think he let my perch go. Yeah. Yeah, it's a clicker. Yeah, nice fish. They have uh, 34. My first clicker in perch, bro. How is feeling? Feeling good. Good feeling? Yeah, really good. I was a bit nervous. <laughs> Changed lure two times already. <laughs> In how long time? 15 minutes? Yeah. Really good strike. Mm. She had turned the lure upside down. So really good strike. Really angry today. Hard to measure. Yeah, good fish. Good fish. This is good one. Yeah, this is really good one. Oof. Try to bring it up. Ah, it's a good fish. You're smoking hot. It's also even stronger than the first one, but this is smaller. 
But it's a good perch. She had been through some stuff. Yeah, she's old warrior. She hunted by pikes all her life. 41. 41 centimeter perch, old warrior. Like always, when fishermen didn't catch a fish, it depends to the weather or the water or the fishes, but not to the fishermen. But we have a, the air pressure drops down. We had good conditions the last days, but we have to deal with it. Yeah. We try to cast and cast and cast and cast because we know we have good fishing here. And uh, that's what we can do. Do another cast. What we basically do is, of course, we hope and wait for chasing fishes, but if they are not active, we kind of activate them with the sounds of the topwater lures. So especially with this very loud prop bait and the popper, it sometimes makes like click right away and the sound just makes them crazy and the hunt is on. So even as Matthias said, right now it's a little bit slow, but we try to, you know, activate them and get some action. That's the plan and it's not working out within whatever the next couple of minutes we've got still two spots left so yes let's see what comes Ooh. perch oh yeah the perch yeah i think so tell me if i need the net oh good one can you give me the net sure oh maybe it's the first clicker yeah, it should be click. Yes. Oh, bra, Henke. Good job, man. At least we've got a topwater fish. The first topwater counter of the day. I love those fishes. It's a 35. Put them in the live well. Keep on oozing. The first click on the wake prop. First one. First fish. Second fish. Put the spot lock. Ooh. Edge ball. Long fish. Double strike. That's how we do it. I will check it, but I this think it's... This one is not 30. Small. 28. And I'm using the new uh, Strike Pro Spin Tail. Really nice lure that's racking up some kills lately. Yeah. This is approved. Yeah. Yeah, first approved fish. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. First click. First fish on the board on the Astro Vibe. Using the big one, right? The 26 grams? Yeah. First fish, Perch Pro 9. Fish in the boat. Boom. Yeah. Premier click pour l'équipe Cashwift Care. Ils ont un long chemin à parcourir jusqu'à 100 perches, mais il y a encore beaucoup de temps. L'équipe Eolot n'a pas encore trouvé les plus de 30 perches, mais il voit maintenant un banc de perches de taille très correcte chassant en surface. It's first clicker on the popper, 31. Small, but still it counts. Smaller one again. It's a gangster. Not very big, but the proof. Yep. Fish on. Third, June bug. The board is still wet. Fish, Fish on. on. Good size. No. Gangster. 38. Fish. I'm a little worried for the engine. This is a better size, I think. Down again. Yeah. You need my help? Yeah. This is good. Better. This is a good one. Better at least. Better at least. Yeah, it's a good one. Super. Boom! High five! <laughs> there we go. Biggest for the day. It spits out a small perch. So they're eating perch. You see the turd in the mouth. Let's smash it. It's a 45. Yes. L'équipe Sporting Zedman a trouvé un banc de perche active en quelques minutes. Elle a dépassé l'équipe Bite of Big sur le tableau du top 5. Aux Pays-Bas, l'équipe Neistroft chasse sa deuxième perche. Oh, I want big one. Big one. This is a good one. 
It's going deep. I'm shaking. Yes! Oh. It's nice, oh. yes! No, I thought it was going to be bigger. But still, we, we're catching them. I'm gonna, now this time, I'm gonna remove the hook from the net already now, if you catch another one. Yeah. So it's not tangled. Yes, Toby! That's so good. At least we start catching a fish. Ah, it's such a relief. Let's see how long it is. I say 42, 44, 45. Oh, quite oh, no. good. Maybe. 40, maybe it could be 45. Ah, no, it's 44, 43. Yeah, we'll see, but it's, it's a fat one. It's a nice fish. It's heavy for its weight. Heavy for its weight? Length, you mean? Length. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, no, it's 45. It's 45. If we catch, if this is the smallest one, I think we might get the top uh, five point. But yours was bigger than this one. Mine was bigger, yeah. So it was 48 to 50, I would say. Yeah. Let's put it back. Hopefully they continue biting and hopefully the big one I lost is hungry again, maybe in one hour. But it's good, very good that Toby at least caught one. Toby, that's typical Swedish guys are always catching, uh, casting over the line. Dustin, you're casting a lot to the right. I yeah, of like... course, because you said the fish is to the right. Like, yeah. Of course I catch, cast where the fish is. But they are more. Dustin, you are casting to the fish. Why do you do that? Okay, Toby, next time I do in the empty water behind us, okay? You just lose the nana house. It's better to leave them to me. <laughs> you know why I put a big hook? Uh, when you put the big hook, the small ones just grab it until here and can't take it in so easy. And then they uh, warm okay, up the bigger coming, ones. Coming, coming. It looks like one more clicker. Probably. It's clicker. Yep. Opposite side? Yep. And this will be definitely a clicker. It's 33. Second one. So, one more, please. Boom. Not you. Where is your old brother? Opa. This is not small. This Good. runs up and this is a clicker, I believe. Yeah. Chris, check out. Okay. Yep. This is a better. This is much better than the 30s. This can be close to 40. Yep. Yep. Good. Hello. Good. Good. Fantastic gray color. This is this is leap, a deep living fish. Uh, if it would be shallow, it would be much more colorful. Number three, and for Martins as well. So we have six perches. And this is just beginning. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There is bite fish. Yeah, that's why there is a really nice school. Big, 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 big. Net. I have net. It's okay. okay. Just work out. I saw him coming out from the. It's okay. It's good. Yeah. <laughs> this is crazy. It's hopefully it will be clicker for me as well. This is going to be a little more than 39. You see? This is a little more than 39. This is 39. It's 36 and a half. <laughs> they are super active. Yes. Les nouveaux arrivants de Lettonie sont dans le jeu. Après un départ lent à la recherche du point en surface, ils ont changé de tactique et sont maintenant dans le top 5. Mais les triple champions Sporting Zedman ne comptent pas se laisser abattre si facilement. I'm changing. I want to see if I can catch a little bigger fish. I'm going for the, the peak hula, Mr. Jump Jump. And as a skirt, bait from CNW baits, Rocket Buck. I bite up the head because I want to get in a little bit more tight to the body, ready to rock. This one I like because it has gold. The spoon is of gold. Nice one. Jump, jump. Peak hula. Let's see if they want to bite the bladed jig today. Let's see. Ah, it's nice. Boom. Good one. Good one. Ah, boom. Nice. Put it on. Super. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. 
Oh yeah. There you go. Oh yeah, baby. This was good. This was what we needed. Yes. That's this nice one. what the one. Super. The gold blade. Gold oh, blade. this is a tank. Come on, baby. Woo Look at it. Look at the jump jump, the peak cooler. It totally inhaled it. This is a nice one. That's a nice one. That's a nice fish. Oh, I love that. Oh yeah. Change the golden blade and and the white trailer specially made for me white with pearl just love it gold blade peak hula jump 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 this one's 46 there you go nice beautiful fish tank Sporting Zedman sont de nouveau en tête et détiennent à la fois le top 5 et les points pour les gros poissons il est 9h ce qui signifie que les équipes ont pêché pendant une heure Ok, les gars, c'est 9 o'clock, donc c'est temps pour le premier rapport. Can you help me remember how many fish do we get? Yep. Zero approved. <laughs> Zero approved. Yes, keep casting. We have two good purchases now on the paper, but I'm still stressing it a little bit. We, we are not catching the numbers that, that we expected to do at this point, but still 2 plus 40, that is good. Good start, first hour. Yes, twice, twice again. Double. Double again. <laughs> This is crazy. <laughs> double. Small, that double. We need to find the big ones. Yes. So, nine o'clock, we have been fishing for one hour now. Change to uh, the crankbait, the World Rush. It's a new, new uh, crankbait, almost like a square bill. Um, and they react on it, but I think the purchase is too small. We're standing on a shallow place and, and fishing out over and it's go down to six to seven meters. And I hope to get, get some reaction on the way up when we're fishing the, the crankbaits. So it's a little bit after nine. We are at a new spot. It's like a little channel where two rivers get together. And um, you see a lot more surface activity here. The perches are hunting. Yeah. So we had very good uh, pre-fishing here in this area. We hope we can get a fish on here too. I might change because Matthias is catching better with the wake prop, so I might change to a bigger lure too. Maybe to like walk the dog action to try this because the popper is not running well at the moment. So um, yeah, we give the spot a try for half an hour or something and then we go to a third spot for top water before we head to the, to the Baltic Ocean. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, my. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Take it easy. Oh, that was a hard strike. Take it easy. Ay, ay, ay. It's a search, right? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> good job, man. Let him go. Thank you. As you see, the wake prop again. Ooh, <laughs> that's a nice fish. Ah, yeah. Yes, man. It's a really nice perch. It's a 38. A really lovely one. Whoopa. Good job, man. Too oh, stuck. Oh, shiggle. Oh. oh, get it, get it. Got it. Oh! Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. The pike, no. Is, the pike is still there. The pike is still behind them. No, no, don't. You see him? Yeah. We spook him because we need to fish. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. You saw that? Yeah, yeah. He was just right under the perch. That was a click the way, So, here we are. Another nice perch. Is it a 38? No, it is a 37. No. 37. I'm still going with the topwater bait because we're hunting for that point. It's an extremely important point for us. So I will maybe be casting the topwater for the whole day. Yeah. Uh, what do you think about the other teams, Simone? What they are up to? Or anyone like chasing the topwater point like we do? Probably at least one or two of the other teams. What do you think about Kingfisher Angler Racer? 
cool. Yeah, they will probably go for the top water yeah. this year again. I mean, we're tied with them with the biggest top water uh, approach in French Pro history, so it can't be like that. We need to change that. Oh, oh it's a perch? I think, I'm not sure. I think it's a perch, but it feels like a pike. If it's a perch, it's a giant. But it feels more like pike, to be honest. No, it's, no, it's, it's a perch. It's a perch! Holy shit. Oh my god. Ay, ay, Oh, let's get it in. It's in yes, there! Oh. <laughs> Bra, Henke! We needed this one. Check so. this one out! <laughs> oh, holy smokes, I'm shaking, man. Oh, oh, that's a giant, isn't it? Oh, 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 that is a huge fish. Holy shit. Check the beauty, oh. man. Oh my god, how big is it? Do you guys are here, it's like a 40. It's a 45. It's a 45. It's a 45. That's the big fish spot, man. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, Henke. <laughs> oh, I'm so pumped, man. Ooh. 45 cm en surface par l'équipe Kingfisher Angel Racing Camo Tackle. Ce n'est pas un nouveau record perche pro en surface. Mais il est entré dans le top 3 et c'est certainement le plus grand poisson en surface de Perche Pro 9 jusqu'à présent. Bon travail Marius. Oh man, I'm still looking at my hands and still goosebumps everywhere. It's so nice this spot is just so cool and we are really happy to have a 40 on top water. This might bring us hopefully a point. This is actually the lure I caught the perch with. It's the, I mean it's pretty rubbed off here in the end, but it's still working. It's actually one of my favorite colors. And this is the uh, tough bug from Norris. This fish actually took it twice. He missed it, turned around, took it again. It was insane. Here it is. Okay guys, changed to soft bait. We had a really struggling first hour. And uh, now the rear also hooked up. So we really have, okay, also can be good. No, oh, it's good. So it's we good. changed plates. I think it's our first approved one, closed mouth, and we have a 36. First on the paper for us. Great. Really, really Great, happy. mister. Really happy with us. It's a big one. No, oh, it's good. First one validate perch. For you. We were in a shallow place. Uh, there is so much small one perch. So we went deeper and uh, we saw some of them on the, on the bottom. So I went to drop shot with a creature. Enfin, deux premiers poissons au tableau pour Thierry et Pelle avec 42 et 36 cm. La tentative de faire du nombre dans les eaux peu profondes n'a pas fonctionné, mais les présentations plus fines dans les eaux plus profondes semblent fonctionner. Yeah, really good. Really good. <rire> Long and nice game fish. 43. Yeah, it's 43. Took on the drop shot. With a tiny, like this, out. It was standing just on the inside of the rock. Yeah, but you threw a little bit longer last time. Because now we're on the rock. No, I think I'm perfect now. Look, look now. Yeah. <laughs> a good one. High 30. No, this is a 40. Nah, no, maybe not, maybe not, 40, 41. Two casts in a row, catch me two 40 plus here. Really nice, just inside of a, a drop of, of a big rock we are lying on, they were standing. What I did was to switch to, to drop shot because we feel that uh, we don't get the bite as we should get. And we see the fish on the sonars and everything. So I changed to drop shot and then we moved around a little bit, put ourselves on a big rock and I could just throw like a five meter cast and let the drop shot go down in the pocket just below the stone where the bottom flattens out and just keep it there for a long time with the drop shot. So that's really success in this case. So catch two 40 plus here on this and the tiny they bite on in the color uh, smoke aisle. 
So let's see if we can catch some more. Toby and I have different tactics. I fish quite slow with a rubber jig and a craw. Toby fishes quite aggressive and from now uh, he catches really good with aggressive lures. We still try to do different things yes. to see what works best. Because nothing is really working. No. Push. Big perch. Really big perch. F it's a huge perch. That's a 50 maybe. Yeah. Good work. It's not the 50, but it's a big one. Where did you catch it? Yeah, but where did it cost? Uh, yeah. It was close to the boat. Yes! That's an important fish. Woo! Well done, Dustin. Ah, it was a st really strong one. Took the craw, nice craw. Oh, fuck. I think it's a, quite long, Dusty. Such a beautiful fish. Look at these big fish. Gris. Very beautiful fish. Mouth is closed. Right? Yes. Closed? 45. 45. Very important fish for the top five. Ah. Beautiful fish. That's why we stay in the Netherlands, because you have such fat fish that's hard to get anywhere else in Europe. It took the craw on a skirted jig. I really love this lure when it comes to perch fishing. Well done. Well. Yeah! Okay guys, 10 o'clock report. Biggest fish is 42 and total top 5 is 118. The, the forecast has been a little problem for us. It's quite windy, picking up wind, and, and the pressure is falling, it's dropping, so that will not be a good thing. But I have one thing, it's when you have low pressure, the big fish will eat, because the, the, the small fish will affect more to the low pressure. So probably a big one soon. So let's go get it. There we have them, nice. there we have them, really good. This is three beauties. Okay, we'll try. Come on, Bella. 10 meter. Yeah, it's good cost. It's really good cost. Probably we will, they will strike it now. Yeah, they're coming. Yep, you got them. Yep. Perch? Yeah, good one. This is a. And a broad. One is following, maybe. Teddy, one is following, maybe, if we will try. You, you prefer? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he's by himself now. He's by himself. Yeah, the other one goes. But they will also take. This is a good one. It's a 40. Yeah. Yes. Bam! The other one is behind. The other one is really behind. Behind. Drop down. Oh, drop down. Well, that's not that. He's, he's dead. You see him. You see him. Drop down. Drop down. There. There. Outside there. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. Yeah. Good. It's one more. <laughs> oh my god, bro! Oh my god, it's a 50 plus! It's a 50 plus! <laughs> oh. Oh. Look at that one! <laughs> great, great, great. So oh, great. Oh, two beauties. This is a 50 plus. Please, yeah. Please. yeah. Just miss the 50. Yeah, I don't, uh, uh, I don't uh, know. Uh, we, we, we will see. We will see. You know, <laughs> maybe 40. No, no, no. It's a, yeah, no, no, it's one. Look at this that. one. Is really old one. Oh, great. Let's see. Let's time to, 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 to measure. measure. Yeah. Yeah, we check the small one first, and it's a 43, and then we check, no. No, it's not 40, it's 50. No, it's not 50. No. It's a 46. 46. I thought it was bigger. Next one. Yeah. Next one will be 50. Yeah, but 46 is good. Oh, no. oh it looked so long. Oh, it looks so old and long. Yes. A little bit disappointed. Yes, but but it's a really beautiful fish. But for, 46 for me, it looked uh, like um, the um, lost year one. So long. 
Eh bien, cela arrive aux meilleurs d'entre nous. Pas aussi gros que prévu, mais ce sont deux superbes poissons de 43 et 46 cm qui donnent à l'équipe Shimano le point du gros poisson avec Sporting Z-Man, ainsi que le point du top 5 avec 207 cm. Les équipes ont pêché pendant 2h30 et à midi, les équipes s'appelleront et révéleront leurs résultats. We have one and a half hour left of this first episode until the lunch report comes. What do you think, Richard, about the rest of the teams? Probably they're going to fish better than we have done. You think morning. so? Yeah, I think we're really struggling out here. I hope we're not alone with this kind of struggling this morning. I don't know. I think we're after in numbers, but yeah. we will take that back. I think once we find a fish. Avec cette perche, l'équipe Bite Oblique est très en retard sur les chiffres. Catch with Care enchaîne et a 29 perches approuvées sur le tableau. S'ils continuent à ce rythme, 100 poissons ne seront pas impossibles. L'équipe Eolot n'est pas loin derrière avec 25 poissons, mais l'équipe avec le plus grand nombre est actuellement Sporting Zedman avec 32 perches approuvées. Aux Pays-Bas, Dustin et Tobias essaient désespérément d'ajouter deux ou trois autres poissons de bonne taille au tableau, mais les perches néerlandaises peuvent être extrêmement difficiles à attraper. Ils savent pertinemment que les grosses perches sont là, alors ils continuent de présenter différents leurs et techniques dans l'espoir d'en faire mordre une autre. What the f***? That's a monster! Yes! yes! Ah, not a 50, but it's such a nice fish! Yes. Oh yes! <laughs> yes, Toby! I net that for you. I wet it. You oh. net it and you wet it. I net it and then I wet it. And now I catch you another one! Oh, it's quite big, isn't it? Yes, it's 45 plus. Yes, Toby! Ooh, yeah, it's long. It's in a super fat as well. Oh, it's it's really big. Maybe it's a 50? No. No, 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 no. Don't jump into the water. I'm gonna try to unhook. Oh. You see, this, this layer is go quite good, Dustin. Yeah. Your nice slipless crank. I don't it want... works. I just want to make sure the net is ready if you catch another one. <laughs> oh, that's such a big fish. I think it's the biggest from today. Don't do that, please. It's fatter than mine, that's why. Oh, such a good fish. Let's see how long it is before I drop it in the water. Yeah, it's closed. Yeah, 47. And it's such a heavy, beautiful fish. I think it, for the Swedish viewers, I think this one weighs like 1.9, maybe yeah. two kilo, because it's, it's super heavy. Yeah. But I wouldn't say two kilo, maybe 1.9. Let's put it back. That's so good, Toby, really. It's so freaking good. L'équipe Neistroft est en feu, une autre beauté pour Tobias sur le Neist Deepless Crank et avec 47 cm, il vole le point du gros poisson par une marge de 1 cm. Encore une perche et ils seront très dangereux pour le top 5. Il est plus de 11h et nous sommes dans la dernière heure de pêche avant le rapport téléphonique. Yeah, we changed location and we found new fish. I'm fishing with uh, worms, Seaman Finesse Worms, in the color PBG. What are you fishing with, Danskan? I uh, do a bladed jig, a peak hula. It's a little tough to find the fish. We find them. Ah, there's fish! It's not a super big, but at least it's a fish. Uh, maybe it's a good size. Yes! Kaboom! Shagaboom! <laughs> Free drinks in the house! There we go! Suddenly it happens, but it's, it's not a super size, but it's a good size. Yeah, it's a good size. Really slow fishing down in the bottom with the finesse worms that I cut about two, three centimeters from. And this little purple color, green flakes. Nice, 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 nice. Let's see how long it is. Uh, long. 44. 45. 45. Super. 
Nice fish, right? Yeah, this is a good one. This is a good one. Yeah, super. I don't know how big, but it's a good one. I don't think it's a tank, but it's a good one. Ah, uh, it's a nice one. Nice size. Look here. It's just goggled it all the way down. Finesse head, CNW rocket buck, special pearl white. It's a 42. 42. Small one. They are uh, striking here at least. That's good. We are fishing on a really steep rock that's sticking up out of the water and going straight way down to 11 meters. So. Yeah, we are on 11 meters now, right? Yeah. No, we're on 8.5. Yeah, good fish. This is good fish. Yeah, yeah, this is good. Good one. This is. This is good one. Yeah, it is. It's a really good one. Really nice fish. Yeah. Mama! Yes! That's so hot today, I don't get it. You said it was a big fish there, so I thought, yeah, I yeah. might take it. Oh, small one. Just hooked in the lip. Mouth against, 45. Yeah, proved. Yeah. So, one other more 45 fish today. So we have two on the paper now. And uh, yeah, we're getting happy with that. I'm fishing a drop shot rig now with the banger ribs because the fish are pretty slow. So I want to do a slow presentation and be able to keep the bait in the same position for a long time. I know that the fish are around and it's just a matter of time until they start feeding. Nice. Nice. On the drop shot. First cast. <laughs> yeah. I think this might be our first approved fish on the banger ribs. Nice. Maybe this is what we have to do until they start eating from the surface. Nope. <laughs> Shit. You can't do that with a 50. Nope. <laughs> That's like restrict, really forbidden. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Drill him. <laughs> what you doing, guys? Drill him. Mr. McGeezers? Two clickers. Yeah. Tail is here, 38. Nice fish. Call it on the uh, atomic chicken piglet shed. No. Uh, 38 centimeters, the biggest so far. Really happy with the fish. Quick release and then keep on hammering. We are in a good spot now, and uh, that, what, that's why we put the big bait on. Because it sorts out the small ones. You see, it's bended again. So, and the big bait. Uh, really helps to get away from the non 30s so and give you some 40s too it sounds like 35 37 not 40 plus oh or oh, maybe 40 okay hello my hey my friend you you see that roach oh. don't afraid about this big bite don't afraid about the big bite some nice perch fishing not too big it's a, it's a clicker of 39. Yep. So, uh, but so so strong guy. You see the muscles are. Oh, I will eat again that big roach. So go eat it. Okay. As you see, we have uh, uh, several boxes. Uh, this is a more box. This is vice breeze box, and this is quantity box. When we find a good school of perches and they are active and they are not very picky, then we go for quantity. Wolf Creek, there is Bassassin, Gator, and so on. And but when it gets more harder to get the bites, it's possible to choose super natural colors from Bice Breeze. This is six inch, and it's very good for a big perch as well. Those are five inches. It's so salty and moves a lot. But when we found the bigger school and the activity is going on then it's needed to change for not so soft rubber it moves as well very good but it stays on hook longer that means that it's possible to keep casting keep casting and keep the tempo and tempo is very important when you are fishing their perches and then you can 
easily oh my go God. for next ones. I hope it's not pike, but I think it's a pike. Maybe not, because the heat was absolutely if, like If pike. you need my assistance, just... Uh, no, it's a perch and not so big, but the bite was... It was good and it's about 40 again. This is 40 plus, I believe, and this is Bass Assassin, it works. Oh, good, good. 43. 43? 43? It's yeah, precise, team. 43. Echolotes.eu. <laughs> right and size. <laughs> at the moment, the, the biggest one. 43. Good. So, keep, good. Keep good, casting. Good, good. Une action étonnante pour l'équipe Eolot, qui construit lentement, mais sûrement un top 5 très fort. L'équipe Kingfisher, Anger Racen et Camotacle est sur le point de changer d'eau et ils ont déjà obtenu une solide perche en surface et vise maintenant le top 5. L'équipe Shimano recherche les gros poissons en eau profonde et vient de trouver une structure intéressante avec un poisson à proximité. Les petites perches sont généralement en banc de plusieurs poissons tandis que les grosses sont souvent de guerrières solitaires. There is something there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe a pike. Yeah, yeah. maybe. But so it's too... The, other, the tree was much more down, but we can try it, I think. This? This is bait fish. Bait fish. Yeah. So we can try yeah, all around. We, 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 we anchor here. Yeah. Make some casts, yeah. let's see. <sighs> it feels... Oh, oh coming. Pop, 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 pop. Uh, yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Watch that. Pike. No perch. Perch, perch. But it's not so big, it's not so big. Not so big, but perch. You're not so big! <laughs> not so big! <laughs> <laughs> so good one! Very good one. Oh wow 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 wow! <laughs> you oh. down it! You down it! Oh, I rest my case. Oh. What uh, an emotion! Oh. <laughs> Oh my god. Who is the boss? No. <laughs> oh. En ce moment, l'équipe Neistroft sont les patrons du point du gros poisson avec une beauté de 47 cm, tandis que Sporting Zedman tiennent le poisson du top 5. Mais ce poisson pourra donner ses deux points à Shimano. Jetons un coup d'œil. Yeah. Ok, guys. Just saw a lonely warrior standing rocky area, 8-9 meters, and totally inhaled it. I fished with a Ned rig. It's a little bit windy, so I used the seven grams. Oh my God. Oh my God, look at this one. Yeah, a beauty. Very beautiful. Very beautiful. Yeah, really healthy one. Now we're talking. Now it's 48 something. Oh, 49. Ah. No, it's a 48. Yeah, almost 49. <laughs> But 48 is a beautiful. I'm so happy with this one. Yeah, look at her. Yeah. Totally amazing perch. And look at those beautiful eyes. It's like purple. Super cool fish. Yeah, unbelievable. Et voilà, un nouveau poisson de tête pour l'équipe Shimano et avec 48 cm, il est 1 cm plus long que 47 capturé par l'équipe Neistroft. Il augmente également la longueur de leur top 5 à 219 cm, la même que Sporting Zedman ce qui leur donnerait un point chacun si la journée se terminait maintenant. Pelle-le avait raison, la faible pression atmosphérique a rendu la pêche lente, mais il a effectivement attrapé un gros poisson. S'adapter aux circonstances en allant en profondeur avec une présentation fine a scellé l'affaire pour l'équipe Shimano. Bien joué. Le rapport téléphonique arrive dans quelques minutes et l'équipe Neistroft sont toujours en train de moudre la même zone qu'ils ont pêché toute la journée. Tobias avec le lipless crank et Dustin avec le tube. Fish. Small one. No, no, not too small. Look at it, Edwin. But also not, it's not a huge one. It's a 30. You sure? No. No, it's, no, it's bigger. Yes. Good. Here, take it, take it. Yes. Oh, it's bigger. It's quite big, Dustin. It's f***ing big, Dustin. It's not as big as the one I lost, but you know, the one you lose are always the biggest, but it's a really nice fish. And it swallowed our uh, tube. Oh, look at this, it's really in the back. You need a plier? No, I think I get it like this. There it is. Ooh, I think it's quite long, Dusty. It's 45 plus. What a nice fish. Well done, Dustin. What a nice fish. 
Une autre perche fantastique capturée par l'équipe Neistroff dans les dernières minutes avant le rapport. La question est, est-ce un nouveau point de gros poisson ou non It is long, Dustin. Eh bien, lançons le bulletin téléphonique de 12 heures et découvrons. Ok, so this is, uh, this is Catch with Care. Hello guys. And, uh, hello. <laughs> We have uh, 64 fish on the, the number. Uh, biggest fish on 36, top water 30, top 5, 173. Everybody copy? Yep. Yep. Perfect. Here is a hello to CEO Martins. We have 39 fish. Biggest one is 43. Uh, top water 31. And uh, top 5 we have 200 and uh, three. yes, 3, just 3. But we are working on that. <laughs> well done. Great. This is Stefan from Team Sporting Seaman. We have 46 fish. Our biggest fish is 46. We have zero on top water and we have 215 centimeter. Nice. Good. Pretty good. Good job. This is Emanuel Svad from Team Headbanger. We have one fish of 33 centimeter. Zero fish on to top waters. Okay. That's it. Okay, so this is Baito Blik, Peter speaking. And we have a biggest fish of 45 centimeter. And we have a top five of 215. And we have a total of 14 fish. And no, nothing on, on, on the top water. Okay, guys. Hello, everybody. This is Pelle speaking from Shimano. Uh, we got the number seven fish. The biggest one is 48 centimeter. And the total top five is 219. 219? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And zero on uh, top water. Way to go. Good. Thank you. Hello, this is Marius from Team Kingfisher Horizon Camo Tackle speaking. We've got a total amount of five fish. The biggest one is 45. And we've got a total top five of 188. And our biggest fish on top water is 45. Oh, congrats. Oh, nice. Wow, good job. Yeah. Good job, yeah, nice. Thank you. Nice one. Not bad. Nice. Thanks, man. Nice fish, nice yeah. fish. Great top water. Really good fish. Hey, that's Dustin from Team Nace Stroft. Um, we have a total amount of seven fish. Uh, the biggest one is 48, and we have a top five of 223. Nice. Hey, nice. Dusty wow. boy. Yeah. That's awesome. And nothing on top water. Way to go. Good job, Way to go. Job. Good job. Well done. Okay, awesome. good job, guys. Enjoy the rest of the afternoon, guys. Yes. Yeah. Good luck. Have a yeah. great day. Be safe. Have a great day, everybody. Thank you, Enjoy. guys. Enjoy. Okay, well, guys. Have a nice fishing, yeah. everyone. Yeah. Good fishing. Bye. Bye. Good bye. fishing. Bye-bye. Yeah. See you. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.
CWC is 64. We are you have... sure they had 64? Yeah. Okay. Uh, this feels really nice because we are on 64. We are uh, swinging on, it. We are on schedule, so we go all in for the numbers, don't we? Nombro punto. Seeing you guys next week for more action. Like we said, we go all in this uh, this Perch Pro for the numbers, and we are on schedule. See you next week, guys. Toodaloo! Mesdames et messieurs, ce premier épisode a été intense, mais laissez-moi vous dire que ce n'était que l'échauffement. Ne manquez pas le deuxième épisode de Perche Pro 9, vendredi prochain à 19h, heure d'Europe centrale. Si vous voulez avoir une chance de participer vous-même à Perche Pro, lisez la suite et inscrivez votre équipe aux qualifications ouvertes de Perche Pro en juin 2023 sur tournament.canalgratis.se. Les gagnants remporteront non seulement une place dans la véritable édition de Perche Pro YouTube, mais aussi 5000 euros en espèces. Si vous ne voulez pas attendre jusqu'à juin, pourquoi ne pas inscrire votre équipe à la qualification ouverte de Zander Pro en mars Ou si vous êtes plutôt un pêcheur de brochets, consultez la qualification ouverte Flag vs Jerk qui aura lieu en juin. Mon nom est Tristan Edouin et vous avez regardé Perche Pro 9.